This is a 1971 Browning BLR and 308 that I recently purchased. I shot the gun once and then the firing pin stuck inside and would not come out. When I squeezed the trigger the second time on the second round, I had a light primer mark but no ignition. So when I got home, I took the air compressor and I blew out the firing pin hole on this side and I tried to blow on this side. I put carb cleaner on both of them and I was unable to actuate the thing. And I couldn't figure out how to get this firing pin to move back and forth. I suspected there was gunk on the spring in the middle. So what I did is took a spent shell casing and I put the spent shell casing in the chamber and then I took a 1 16th drill that you see here in. I uh, put the 1 16th in the lever. I was able to get the pin to come out and then I just took a 3 16th drill and I held it here on this side and then between the 1 16th and the 3 16th I was able to actuate the thing. Then I put some brake cleaner in there and uh, did this for about another 10 minutes. Then I put the drill away and then it was able to go on its own and now it functions the way it should and the gun fires. So when I looked at the gun, I believe that it hadn't been used in years. It had all kinds of red fuzz and gunk on it. Apparently it had been kept in a red case and it didn't appear to have been disassembled in its past life. Based on everything I read, I did not want to tear into this gun. But uh, it seems that I found an easy way to actuate that firing pin. Again, just put a spent, spent casing into the chamber. A 1 16th drill goes into the firing pin hole and then pull back gently on the lever. It'll cause the firing pin to pop out. Then as you move the lever forward, you can push the pin in to activate it or actuate it. And then I just stood it up overnight with a piece of Kleenex uh, right there between the half cock position and the firing pin. And there was a bunch of black goo that had leaked out as a result of the brake cleaner. But I hope this helps you out. And that's our DIY old guy tip for the day.